Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com geeking out with you today about some of the best budget laptops for graphic design. So, as many of you know if you've been watching the channel, I'm going to be retiring my Asus laptop that has been serving faithfully in the army of awesome for about maybe three, four years now. Um, it's done its job and it's having some issues now, so it's time to gracefully retire it for a newer model that will be here probably later this week as of the making of this video. And uh, once I've been on the road with that for a little while, I'll be doing a review of it. Uh, but I'm getting that laptop mostly because I'm going to be on the road doing a lot of things in the upcoming weeks. I'm going to be doing PepCon, AZ, MomoCon, a lot of different things. I'm going to be doing guest speaking events at PepCon and other places. So I need a mobile laptop solution that's not going to break the bank. So we're going to talk about graphic design laptops for under $1,000 that I think will be very good for you based on all the research I've done, all the reviews that I had to do before I decided on my final laptop that I'm buying going into this. So I'm just gonna pull up the iPad here so that I get the specs information right. And I know that I'm giving you guys the right details on these laptops. So the first candidate we have is the Dell Inspiron 15 inch and it's from the 7000 series. This particular laptop has a fourth generation Intel i7 processor, very cool. Uh, you know that the processor is going to be one of the most important things for a graphic design laptop. I've talked about this in other videos. So the i7 is going to be solid. It's got 8 gigs of RAM. That's the minimum I like to go with. You can go lower, but for doing robust Photoshop work, print work, and some light video editing, I like to go 8 gigs or more if I can. So we've got that. We've got a regular hard drive that we'd probably want to swap out for an SSD later, but it is a... 5400 RPM hard drive that is standard for laptops. It is one terabyte. We've got a great crystal clear 15 inch display and it is run Windows 8.1. So those are the details on that. Now what I will say is that this does have a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So you do got the 1080 HD video quality there. Um, so that is definitely on the table. I don't know what the specs are on the webcam. I'm not seeing that here, but I've read you know, the very good reviews on it. There's like 80 something reviews on it, overwhelmingly positive. The processor is a 3.1 gigahertz processor, it is one of the better processors out of the laptops on this list. So we're kind of starting a little bit from the top here. It is pricier, it is $849.99, but it does meet a requirement of being under $1,000 as a graphic design laptop. And for 800 bucks, I think that is tremendous. Uh, you really, I'm not putting any of the Mac laptops on this list. And you know why? For the price and the specs at the budget, they're not cutting it. Apple is not a budget brand. So they're not going to be in this video. I apologize to any of the Apple fanboys who are upset by that. But when Apple puts out a quality laptop under $1,000, it will make it into a budget laptop video with me. That being said, I suppose you could go the refurbish route. I probably wouldn't. Not when I can get something new at a higher spec with a newer generation processor, which I know is the most important probably thing besides the RAM. So that's my advice there. So next up is the Lenovo Z70. Now this laptop is slightly more expensive at $869. It's also bigger. It is a 17 inch laptop. So for those of you who are into desktop replacement, I personally go with 15 inch laptops. I'm done with desktop replacement, 17 inch laptops. But for those of you who absolutely need that screen real estate, this is a tremendous laptop for you. So the Lenovo Z70 17.3 inch laptop has 16 gigs of RAM, which is gonna be amazing for you for doing Photoshop, video editing, photo editing. It's got 16 gigs of RAM, the i7 processors, a one terabyte hard drive, which is also a 5400 RPM hard drive. It does have an eight gig solid slate drive on there, so that's good. You got the solid state drive, you've got the Windows 8.1. It's got about four hours of battery life according to this. Obviously it has the webcam. So this is gonna be a very good device for you. It's got a dedicated graphics card that's about two gigs. So this can handle pretty much anything you want to throw at it overall, and it's under $1,000. Lenovo makes quality uh, stuff. They make tremendous machines. Now, a lot of you have commented that the screen calibration stuff, and this is why you preference Mac, is, oh, the color accuracy for print, blah, 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 blah. Get an X-Rite um, Color Monkey display for screen calibration, or get any other screen calibrator, and because you need that anyway. If you really want accurate, true print color, 
uh, because the conditions can change, you want a screen calibrator if that's what you want to take seriously. Just doing a Mac is not a safety. If you want accurate color, get a screen calibrator. You do that, this Lenovo, the Dells, they're going to be fine. But I will tell you that Dell is great for screens and Asus is great for screens right out of the box, just like Mac. So I would go there. So if any of you are holding back on Lenovo as graphic designers because you've heard stuff about the color accuracy, you need a color calibrator if you're worried about color accuracy anyway. And I'll do a whole different video about that. But yeah, this is a solid laptop. The processor speed at the i7 is 2.4 gigahertz. It can go uh, up in the Turbo Boost performance. But uh, again, this is overall a tremendous laptop, uh, especially if you want to do motion graphics, video editing, or very high-end Photoshop work. Having all that screen real estate, having the high-end graphics card, that's going to be tremendous for you. And obviously, the 16 gigs of RAM is going to crush anything you need to do. Now, $800, $900 could still be a little pricey, and this is a budget laptops video, so I haven't left you without a solution under $500 by any stretch of the imagination. There is the Lenovo G50, which is a 15.6 inch laptop, um, and I recommend definitely getting the eight gigs of RAM in this. Uh, it does have quad core processors. These are AMD A6 processors, uh, one terabyte hard drive. Uh, you're not gonna get dedicated graphics on this, but uh, you are gonna get AMD Radeon R4 graphics, which are still really good. Um, it does have a built-in webcam, uh, some USB ports, obviously, USB uh, 3.0 on one port, the 2.0 on two other ones. So this is a good quality budget laptop, still running Windows 8 uh, for under $500. This one is $445 on Amazon. Links to all of these will be in the description below, by the way. But this is a good solid laptop for doing basic Photoshop work basic photo editing. You could do the kind of work that I've been doing this entire time on the channel, even the video editing stuff, because I was using an older Asus laptop that wasn't even near as good as this for years to get work done when I'm not working on the iMac. And it's just been able to be a workhorse. And all of these laptops are using newer processors and are much more powerful. So I would say that all of these are gonna perform admirably for you, even at the lowest price budget that I have here with stuff at you know under $500. So I would still highly recommend this. And like I said, if you're worried about color accuracy, there are ways around that. There are color calibrators under $100 that you can get if you're doing print work and you have to have the color accuracy. You don't have to spend the $1,500 on a Mac to have accurate color as a graphic designer. It doesn't have to be that way. Now, going back to Dell, there are other Dell solutions uh, that are under the uh, 7000 series. You have things in the 5000 series and so on that are Dell Inspiron laptops, 15 inches, 8 gigs of RAM with i5 processors, which are still viable. Those are still good processors for doing graphic design work at the $500 price point. And I'll have a couple of different combinations of those in the description because they're all a little different, believe it or not. But these are still great laptops. They still have everything you need. Uh, this one has a terabyte hard drive. Um, it you know has everything else, 720 webcam. Uh, again, it's not full HD. It's probably about you know 720 as far as that goes as well. Uh, it's using the Intel graphics. I believe it's using the Intel HD uh, 5500. But again, still a high performance laptop, 2.7 gigahertz. Um, you know, so that's gonna be what you need processor wise. It's still gonna be good on the i7 and the i5 at those speeds. You're gonna be fine. Uh, in this case, on the cheaper end, you're on the i5, and I still think that that's perfectly fine. I was using Pentium B processors in getting graphic design work done, and it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that slow for what it was. So again, this one has the Intel 4400 graphics, and uh, overall, it is pretty good. Now, granted, the 2.7 gigahertz, that's with the turbo boosting. It is native at 1.7, but on the i5, uh, that's fine, and you'll be okay there. Uh, battery life is clocking in really around, depending on your performance, uh, you know, um, I would say maybe about four hours, probably closer to three if you're doing robust Photoshop work or editing. Interesting fact about this particular model I'm looking at though, the maximum RAM size on this is 16 gigs, so you can upgrade it and you can get more performance. So you can start with a $500 laptop, but then upgrade the RAM and get a lot more out of it. You can put SSDs in here, you could take out the DVD bay, put in SSD, take out the regular hard drive, put in SSD and get a lot more out of this. So you could build this out to be a monster. And the only thing you'd be sort of hurting on is the graphics card. But 
understand that even though Photoshop can take advantage of the GPU, it doesn't rely on it, so you'll be fine. So ultimately, the laptop I decided on was an Asus laptop. Again, links to all this stuff will be uh, in the description below, but mine is going to be $560. It's eight gigabytes. It is a um, Intel i5 processor. Um, it's really robust overall. It's gonna have the battery life I need. It's gonna be between four and five hours, probably three for me. Um, it does have the webcam, 720p, not full HD, but this can be upgraded, I think up to 12 gigs from the eight gigs. I can replace the hard drive with an SSD drive. I can replace the DVD drive with an SSD drive, which is probably what I'm gonna do eventually. But I decided that this laptop was going to be what's going to carry me through over the next two years before I get the MacBook Pro for 2016 and that's what I want to use. So that was what I decided in terms of the budget laptops that I was looking at as a graphic designer what I ultimately decided to buy and as soon as that comes in I'll be unboxing it on the channel give you my reviews and my first impressions. But I have more budget laptops in the description below so you can make sure you check those out and if you have questions about buying a graphic design laptop, let me know in the comments section and I will answer as many of your questions as I can. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and geeking out with me on budget graphic design laptops.